Welcome back! We have acquired HK-47, a homicidal maniac of a droid, and it looks like he'll be quite an entertaining addition to our team. That guy looks like he's about to punch the living daylights out of somebody. Right now we're at the uh, swoop racing area, or rather the registration area for the swoop racing, and we've talked to many of these racers around here. Who exactly is this? Okay, he's just a random swoop racer. But uh, we want to race ourselves, and we've been told to talk to Mata the Hut over here. Well, we do own a swoop bike, and we are looking for money, but in this case, I believe we can also help uh, bring business to this uh, swoop track as well. Let's tell them about our experience on Terrace. Yeah, that's what I thought. We do. How magnanimous of you. Let's see if we can drop that a bit. Uh, we can see the inside of his mouth, and it looks like it's got holes in it. What sort of business? Should I be worried about this? I'm really starting to not like this guy. Oops. Hmm, so apparently this uh, uh, business that he wants uh, us to help him with has to do with Nico. And apparently Nico won't sign a contract, which appears to be what he was uh, thinking about when we approached him earlier. First of all, why exactly won't he sign it? You're just taking advantage of him. You know, yes, I really do think you should give him a better deal. Well, that's what you think. You know, I told Igear this in uh, the Undercity, and I'll tell you this too. Not everybody does everything for money. Well, let's see why he would listen to us, because he didn't really seem very intent on doing so when we approached him earlier. I'm sure they wouldn't mind some of the credits, as opposed to getting it stolen out of their pockets. Yeah. I'm not going to scare anybody into doing anything. Well, let's see if we can talk to him, though, and maybe we can talk to Amada again later on. Let's talk about racing now. Let's see what we get if we win. So what exactly are these tiers? 
Rumbi Hautonga Tonkimba Nankonke Wana Kumbes Chimpai Labroda Narenkes Matoma Yinkin Slimo Podona Mul Rumbi Hautonga Tonkimba Nankonke Wana Kumbes Chimpai Okay, so that's pretty much to be expected. Rumbi Hautonga Tonkimba Nankonke Wana Kumbes Chimpayamui Kun Labroda Narenkes Matoma Yinkin Slimo Podona Mulera Chiku That's nice and all, but we don't know exactly how much racing bonds are worth. Rumbi Hautonga Tonkimba Nankonke Wana Kumbes Chimpayamui Labroda Narenkes Matoma that give or take bit is really going to help us out here because if we approach uh, Suvum Tan on a Yavim station with our uh, racing bonds, he will actually give us 156 credits for each one. And that's two and a half times more than what Mata is saying here and then some. However, when I did this during my practice run, I had actually not beaten him at Pazak at this point in the game. So I really don't actually know um, whether or not he'll pay more than 156 credits now, so we're going to have to see. I believe if I ask him this, he's just going to say Nico is his pro racer with promise. Wanga chona tizoras bafkaze Igatuk hakujiji Okay, so you mentioned Zorus then. Well, let's see here. <laughs> I know he's probably getting tired of us asking questions. Let's see if we can go ahead and race. Labroda na rinkies matona Yinkin slimo podona mulera chikun Rumbi Hautonga Tonkimba Nankonke Wana Kumbes Chimpayamui Labroda Narenkes Matoma Yinkin Slimo Podona Mulera Let's see if we can haggle with him a little bit. Yinoba Mulera Kink Rumbi Hautonga Tonkimba Nankonke you can actually only do this once, by the way. You can't do this again. Yeah. He even says so here. All right, here we go. It's not as easy to win this because we don't have the accelerator on our bike anymore. But it's still pretty reasonable. Especially the first tier. You just have to make sure you take advantage of as many of these boosting pads as possible. And not bump into rocks. Looks like we got it. All right. Tipicha una kin na pun nekturum wanga bola. Chila you now. Tipis guns the to chibedu ana ne bobo. Tum na bum sha nun gang. Rundi hau tonga ton kimba nan konke. Don't worry, you will not. Um I don't know if Nico will say something interesting to you now. I, I do want to talk to Garm now that we've beaten his time. Actually, I want to talk to everybody just to see if they have anything to say. Alright. Um, even if you do beat, like, uh, Zorus's time, or um, even Nico's time, 
you'll have to race again in Tier 2 and Tier 3. You can't just blast past everybody in one race. Oh, hi. You another racer, then? I heard someone new was talking to Mata. Always room for more, I guess. Don't know how much longer I'll be around here, but maybe we'll have time for a few races. Dude, weren't you watching that awesome race? Let's see if he'll actually open up to us now. Did you? I'm not sure that's any of your business. Top racers keep to their own. I don't know you. Maybe if you were better on the track, I might feel like talking about it. Someone who can turn out the fast times might understand. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to beat his time in order to uh, actually get him to open up about the issues. Hurry it up, all right? I have things on my mind. Okay, okay. All right, see you around the track. We won't bother you anymore. Now we got a journal entry about this. I think we got one earlier, but I didn't read it. Um, Nico won't listen to what you have to say about Mata's contract until you have proven you are as good a racer as he is, and his times are presumably as fast as the Tatooine official track record. So yes, we will need to beat his time before we do anything else. Let's talk to Zorus. I don't know if she has anything to say now. Chinapala Mula. Tonki ba non tontek tuni chachon kun ne mule brabast. Why, thank you. Chinapala mule. Let's try another race, see what happens. Rundi hautonga tonki ba non kontek. Wana kumbes. We won't talk about that business with Nico until we've actually talked with Nico later on, so let's go ahead and do another race. La boda na rinkis matoma. We can't negotiate this time, so we will have to actually pay. But it's not too bad, considering that we'll be getting a lot of credits here in the, the near future. Oh, that's right, Yuka Rill is the, uh, the second tier person. Okay, my computer's slowing down, lagging a bit there. Thankfully, we did beat this time last time, so as long as we do as well as we did then, we should be a okay. Good. Only how don't I don't keep a mistake? One knock on this mistake. I thought you liked promising people, or am I too good? Took me in Tanjo, Kunemo, Gio, Kaya, wish you money, but Johnny Pace, Unlatin, and let me see if we can talk to uh, people besides Nico. I forgot to talk to Yuka. Speaking of which, is he related to Yuka Laka, maybe? Smilia, ti umpa do punta krita, topa na oto baskas. Ooh, sounds like she's trying to flirt with us there. Chine pala mule. I suppose Zorus is the the final person we have to race against. I guess we don't race against Nico. Oh, dude, don't take it so personally. I don't think Garm has anything more to say, if I remember right. Okay, he does. All right, let's do the final tier. Let's see if we can match with Zorus here. That's going to be a tough one, because I don't think we've beaten that time yet. Rundi ik chawa tongbola joni ku. 
Well, let's see if we can pull it off. Hopefully no lag this time. Missed a boost there. And another one. Ah, missed it. Oh, well, we can try again here. Hopefully we can get it on a second try. <laughs> I guess I get to show you guys what he says if you lose, too. Let's try one more time. This time I will try to hit all the boosting pads. Well, except for that one. I, I have no real interest in hitting that one. Yes! Got it. Alright. Well, let's talk to Nico now that we've done that. <laughs> wow. Now he really doesn't like us now that we've we've actually done pretty well, which is kind of funny. I don't believe... Yeah, we, we've completed Tatooine Swoop Racing now. So let's talk to Nico. You again? I don't really feel like talking right now. I suppose you've got a right to know track business, but with the times you've been posting... Well, we pretty much already know why he doesn't want the deal with Mata, but let's go ahead and ask him anyway. It's not that I'm not grateful. I mean, it would get me into the pros. I don't have the credits to get in on my own. Not that I care about credits. I just want to race. But the deal with Mata is pretty bad. He'll get most of what I win. Maybe we can talk to him about it, now that we've talked to you. You've posted some good times. He might listen to you. I would. I respect you as a racer. But I kind of doubt he'd give me a better deal. He doesn't have to. He's putting up most of the credits. Thanks anyway, but I'll think it through myself. Well, let's see what we can do. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do this the light side way right now. Let me just make sure. If we choose this, that will uh, give us dark side points, but if you want light side points, you'll actually need to use a force persuade option, which we don't have yet because we don't have effect mind as a force power. And uh, the reason why I didn't uh, choose it earlier is because there are actually no opportunities on Dantooine to use it. So I figured it would be a wiser, uh, a wiser choice to, uh, to invest in actual like combat-related powers for the time being. So I'm, I'm going to come back to this later on, on once, once we level up and uh, finish Tatooine. And hopefully we can actually uh, convince Mata to give him a better deal. <laughs> Don't worry, we don't really have any need to use the track anymore. Whoa, that was a pretty scary close-up right there. <laughs> and we are now done with swoop racing, and before we go on, I would like to, um... If you, uh, shoo this guy away, you'll get dark side points. Well, we don't really know what we'll do after this is all over, so why not? You never know. At least we'll make this guy's day.
tolpa da pongwale gandu nangugu chuchut. Kava dum ku pilio botenya. Bona nai kuchu. Da kom justach miki grabal mogo. Kachi ita hodunga. Interesting. So they don't have signatures. They actually just use handprints as signatures uh, when they sign autographs, which is quite interesting. That's where we met the uh, Dark Jedi a little while ago. But before I do anything else, what I was going to say before we met up with that guy was that I would like to go back to Yavin Station and uh, talk with Suvam Tan again because I would like to sell him our racing bonds. And the reason why I want to do this now instead of waiting until our typical uh, uh, trip there between the two planets is because I would like to buy that uh, rifle that this guy here near the ship was selling. Because I want to give that rifle to HK-47 when we go out into the desert, because we will need HK-47 for our peaceful negotiations. Odd as that may seem. And we got Gizka on our ship! Aww, they're so cute! Look at them! So this is what they look like. You know, I don't care that it was a mistake they're on our ship, they are adorable. Aww... Look at that. Kill it? No way. And actually, if you kill it, that's not actually going to do anything. They'll just multiply. Let's pet it. I wanted to see that. You scratch the little critter behind its nubs that pass for ears, and it coos enthusiastically in response. Let's, uh, let's pick it up. You try to pick up the Giska, but it wriggles from your grasp and plops back down to the floor. I really wish they came up with animations for all of this. The Gizka looks at you curiously, cooing. I saw that we could play a game with it. Can we do that again? There you go, play a game with the Gizka. You play a game of peekaboo with a little creature, hiding your face behind your hands and startling each startling it each time you appear. What fun. Aw. Well we'll just leave it alone. I like these guys. Oh, They're a good addition to our ship. Well, for now, let's go to the cockpit and uh, just take a quick trip to Yavin. This shouldn't take too long. Hopefully we won't run into any Sith uh, trouble on the way. And we did it, which is good. Well, let's just take a quick jaunt out to uh, Suvum and sell him our racing bonds. We can also sell him uh, some of the lightsabers we got. And I will go ahead and take... Oh, let's see. I'll take Candorus and I'll take T3 again. Just because he's not really going to get out too much here.
I know this is kind of a bit of a detour, but I really do want that blaster rifle because it is amazing. And it's the only time I'll come here in the middle of a planet, so I, I will not do this again. Oh, and it looks like he has Gizka here as well. We actually heard that noise last time we were here, but we didn't check it out. Let me see if we can find it. <laughs> He's even commenting on it. Uh, where is that Gizka? I'm sure it's right in front of my face, and I'm just totally missing it. Uh, it's up here somewhere? No. Okay, I'm not gonna rest until I find that Gizka. Where is it? Somewhere hiding. Come on, it's gotta be somewhere in here, right? T3, come on. Where is this thing? I wanna see where that is. Maybe maybe you can't actually see it right now. It could be up in the ceiling somewhere. Try using E this time. Okay, apparently we can't select it, so maybe it's invisible for the time being. Let's see about uh, getting some stuff here. Or rather, selling some stuff for now. Let's see here. I do want to keep the Achani Fiber Armor. I don't need this, so we'll sell that. Uh, we don't need this anymore now that we've got a short lightsaber, so I will sell that too as well as these crystals. Um, what else have we got? Clothing, we don't need that. We don't need clothing. We also got a damned crystal, which I need to uh, apply. We can sell all these energy shields, which we didn't do last time. I will, I will keep the Achani doing shield for now, though. Race Bond, here we go. Okay, there they are still 156 credits, but that, like I said, is two and a half times more than what we got before. Um, or what we could get if we sold them on Tatooine at uh, the vendor by the Evan Hawk. So let's sell away here. As you can see, this definitely, definitely boosts your credit total by a lot. Okay, and for some reason we have more here. I guess you can't have more than 99 of one thing as a single entry. Alright. Wow. We have got 25,290 credits. That is cool. I don't believe there's anything that we... That I really want to buy at this point. Of course, now I'm going to have to wade through all this stuff here, but... Uh, if I remember right, none of this stuff was particularly useful. This one, I don't think I'm going to get that. I think it, it was an op it was something I was considering when I was planning out this LP, but I don't think I'm getting it if I remember right. We can buy the race bonds back for some reason, and now he's charging us 192 for them. I'll have to make sure of that, but we'll, we'll come back here again later on. We don't particularly need that right now. So for the time being, what, why don't we just go ahead and use force speed to get back. For the time being, let's go ahead and go back to the Ebon Hawk and go to Tatooine and get to that gun. Now when we get back to Tatooine, I'll stop by the Hunting Lodge, since uh, we didn't check that out on the last run that we had through there. And also by the Cantina, because we haven't seen Bastila's mother yet. I love that sequence.
All right, we are now back, and we're still using force speed. Let's see, and for this run, I think I'm going to save mission for later when we look for Griff. I will take Zalbar. And... T3. Alright, well we will buy that rifle and explore Anchorhead in the next video.